turn Starfield into Combat Field with this Xbox Creations mod. Hello everyone, this is Richard. Welcome to Starfield Essentials. If you like large-scale combat, I have the mod for you. It's called NPC Spawner Danger Zone by Nerve. It's available on Creations for Xbox and PC and on Steam for PC. I tested it on PC because I think the way I used it would cause my Xbox Series S to overheat. This mod lets you spawn a variety of NPCs, including humans of different factions, plus a short selection of creatures and robots. You can make any of them allies or enemies. In this video, I will show three different scenarios. First, there's some mixed NPC engagements to learn how the mod works. Second is a boss takedown engagement. Third is a full-blown ground combat operation. I ultimately have 1,500 NPCs go to war on a moon. Installing this creation is easy. Just search for spawner in the menu. Using the mod requires crafting at the pharmaceutical bench. You create an item called DZ Nade. This item is free, so I recommend making hundreds of them. The item will appear in your throwables inventory as a grenade. When you want to spawn NPCs, you throw the grenade where you want them to appear. This may seem odd at first, but I think it's brilliant. In low gravity locations, you can place NPCs far away, which we will see shortly. For now, let's spawn some friendly NPCs. Here I deploy six melee starborn. We have a few options after they appear, like looking at their inventory and changing their role. Let's give them something to fight. How about 12 Moss Naths? I actually feel bad for these things. I shouldn't have spawned them to fight the Starborn. They're just gentle dinosaurs. I won't do this again. Sorry about that, Moss Naths. You deserve better. When finished, they attack anything else considered to be hostile. Now, from the safety of a position on top of my ship, I'm going to spawn some of the other NPCs and let them battle. Let's start with some Neon Dancers. They make quick work of these Grilova Queens. I always like when these NPCs say, I can't believe that happened, or I'm safe now. Oh, they said it. I can't believe that happened. What was that noise? How will they handle these Alpha Terramorphs? Now, these make a good adversary because during the course of the combat, they take over the minds of some of their enemies. So you'll see that green smoke around the NPC, and then that NPC will turn on its friends. So I did this as well later with some Crimson Fleet Pirates against Alpha Terramorphs, and it was cool. No problem. These ecliptic bosses are another level though. Their explosives are a problem. I <laughs> like how they say, we're losing, this is bad. These are neon dancers, folks. They have those funny hats and they're giving up a huge fight against these ecliptics. Let's call for some A-10 robot backups. They are beasts. Now just watch these things go into combat. They just swarm against whoever is bothering them. Of course my guy is getting pummeled by all the explosives so I need to give him a med pack. But look at those robots. They are making quick work of those ecliptics. Let's finish this scenario with some Crimson Fleet Legends. Look at those robots charging in there. What heroes. Now at this point in the scenario, I'm just trying to find parity. I'm trying to get each side to wipe each other out because otherwise I'm gonna have to do something with all these NPCs. As you'll see later in the video, they just follow you everywhere you go, which is kind of a hassle. Neon dancers do not give up. 
They are making Voli Alpha proud. At the end of the day, it was a draw with no survivors. It's time to head to our second scenario. Here is the Mech Overlord boss. This is a creation by Inquisitor. I'll take a closer look at this mod soon. Let's see how 96 UC Marines fare against it. It turns out this beast with 200,000 health points is no match for a company of UC Marines. It gave me quite a lot of trouble though, one on one. For our last scenario, let's go to Piazzi 4A. I found a deserted mineral plant, which makes the perfect capture the flag location. I can spend some time defending the plant or attacking it. As you can see, this plant has a lot of territory around it. It has some trenches, it has some rocks, good cover, good concealment, and also a good vantage point for starting the battle. Here I'm going to match Crimson Fleet Legends against UC Marines. I spawn them in batches of 48. I could pretty safely spawn two batches of each at a time. As I exceed the 100 NPC count, I'm worried my system might become unstable. When I tried doubling this count, my system crashed to the desktop. During this scenario, I just keep adding batches of 48 NPCs whenever one side becomes too weak. Over the course of the engagement, I ended up adding 13 UC Marine batches and 19 Crimson Fleet batches. One of the tasks I had to perform over and over during this game was rescuing my companions. They kept charging into battle and I would have to find them, give them a med pack, and then run away again. Here I'm spawning more pirate legends because I saw that their numbers were getting low. And I can see my companions are going to be stuck in the crossfire right away. This is a really lethal combat environment. I play with very hard combat damage settings and slow medical item healing. Here I've put uh, 48 marines up on the landing pad and I've put 48 crimson fleet uh, just to the west there and they are getting into a massive firefight which I can see through the scope of my rifle. One of my favorite parts of this scenario was running through the trenches. And this was just a random part of the environment, but uh, this is going to be my go-to location for running these battles. So I, loved, I liked going into the trenches, trying to uh, roll up the flank of the other side, so I can see that there are pirate legends ahead of me. And uh, the weapons that, I can't remember if it's Sarah that's using them, or if it's just the UC Marines, but when they set the targets on fire, it's both horrifying and also uh, captivating. And I'm trying to do some of my sniping, but I'm just trying to do the best I can in this scenario. Here I got myself a little bit, a uh, little bit too extended, a little too brave. I decided to charge right at the enemy, and because I am playing on those very hard combat settings, my weapons aren't doing that much. Uh, I tried a bunch of different weapons, and. You know, they're cool. Some of them are interesting. They're setting the enemy is on fire and providing some really nice lighting scenarios, but I'm starting to find that I'm getting overwhelmed. I'm, I'm finding uh, pirates both on my left and right flanks, and now they're getting behind me. And as you can imagine, this is not going to last very long. I ended up switching to my Varun Inflictor as a last ditch measure. And that was it. That was only one of the times that I died during these, uh, these videos. <laughs> now thanks to the lighting we have here because of the environment, we have some really cool, uh, really cool ambiance to this horrible combat. Here I tried flanking around the back of the enemy and as a result, I'm getting into some pretty close-in combat with these guys. And once again, I switch over to my Varun Inflictor to try to dispatch them as quickly as possible. Now to finish with a bang, 
Let's throw some ecliptic bosses at this group. I like how these ecliptic are firing rockets literally over the heads of the UC Marines. And their answer is, huh? When I find you, you're in trouble. Perfect. Nothing there. I like how these UC Marines think nothing's happening. <laughs> As these ecliptics are racing at them. Look at that one Marine. What a hero. He's going forward to take on a whole company of, of crimson. Or not of crimson, of ecliptics. <laughs> you can loot the adversaries, and uh, as these ecliptics are bosses, they tend to have good items. Legendaries are rare, though. But I did find Astra, and because I use uh, uh, a setting that allows for recycling legendaries through the Legendary Recycler mod, I did find some of those. Overall, I had a ton of fun playing the NPC Spotter Danger Zone mod. I recommend testing it to see how many NPCs your platform can handle. So, have you tried this mod? What did you think? This one is similar to the SKK Stalkers and Followers mod, but it seems to facilitate mass combat. I plan to continue using both. If you enjoy this content, please feel free to like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring the bell icon and select all notifications. If you want my crew to know you appreciate their valor in combat, check out my videos on the SKK Stalkers and Followers mod if you like this type of play. My name is Richard, and I will see you in the Starfield.